Good afternoon all. I thought I'd play with Arduino today. So I dug out um, an old Arduino project and it's this. I don't know whether you remember this one. It's um, a Pro Mini sort of stuck onto a 9 volt battery box and the 9 volts goes into ground and raw which goes into the regulator and gets regulated down to 5 volts. And then I put a connector on the Pro Mini in such a way that I picked off ground, VCC, SCL and SDA, which are the I squared C connections. And then I built this, which is an OLED and a little uh, humidity and temperature sensor where the connections, the four connections just happen to line up. And they don't always. This one actually goes ground, VCC, SCL, SDA. This one goes VCC, ground, SCL, SDA. So got to be a little bit careful. That plugs into the little socket. You put your 9 volt battery in, it boots up, and it works. Humidity 51%, temperature 21 degrees. It's reasonably warm in here. So I thought, well, this is cool. Let's go back to the source code. I don't know, change the size of that, or write humidity or something, because it doesn't actually tell you what these numbers are. It should be fairly obvious, but. I thought let's go back and, and slightly modify the, the source code. Went into Arduino IDE, tried to compile the original source code for this and it doesn't compile numerous errors and warnings. And this is the, what I always get with Arduino. When I go back to it a couple of years later, it never works because the IDE has been upgraded. The libraries have been upgraded. People have had different sort of thoughts about where things should be so they've moved it all around nothing works so is it me is it just that this way of programming is not what i'm used to i'm 58 years old i used to do a lot of programming uh, i don't know z80 all in machine code or assembly language and then the pic microcontroller and you'd write a bit of assembly language come back to it five years later and it would still work because nothing had changed. Nobody had tinkered with things. But when you write code that's based on libraries that someone else has written, things change. They change their mind about how things should work. And then it stops working. So you've got to keep up to date with all this stuff. If you leave it for a couple of years, you're back in the wilderness. You're actually back to square one. And that's kind of why I've got this, because I thought, OK, Let's take this back to its simplest form. Let's just, let's not have the sensor initially because there was an error on that library. Let's just have the OLED. Let's just put something on the OLED. And then I thought, actually, let's go one stage further back. Let's just blink an LED. So I've got a Nano here. I'm going to plug that in and try and blink this LED. I'm going back to Arduino Basics. Start our recording, let's do Arduino. So here we are in the Arduino IDE and I think 1.8.10 is the latest one. And of course there's now the, the web uh, IDE, the web-based IDE, but I'm gonna use the old fashioned, uh, I think this is a Java thing, isn't it? IDE, so here we are, Blink. Um, now this says LED built in and I don't remember Blink having LED built in. I, I remember it having D13, but there's an explanation here on the Uno Mega and Zero, it's attached to digital pin 13. I'm pretty sure that's the same on the uh, Nano and the Pro Mini, but on the Maker 1000, it's pin six. So LED built in is set to the correct LED, independent of which board is used. Fantastic. So this should work. Shall I try compiling it and uh, uploading it to my board? Well, yes, you see, marvelous. That has come up with an error, even just in the blink sketch. <laughs> So I'm not doing very well. I've got a warning here. Um, I'm probably using an old board definition and it says it doesn't define a billboard preference, whatever one of those is. Auto set to that, which is obviously a new one. And that's fine. I'm quite happy with that because it's only a warning. But here I've got errors. CCL, oh no, CC1XE error. For no fat Nato objects are supported only with linker plugin. What on earth does that mean? I've got three of those. So it won't run because I got that error. So now I've got to go to Google, start searching for this error message, try and fathom out what's going on. I've obviously got a folder somewhere with some stuff in it, which it doesn't like. And I'm gonna have to track it down and I don't know, rename it or something. So 
I've gone to the forum and I've done a search and it's sort of hinting that it might be something to do with this hardware folder. And so what I'm going to do, and I've done this with my libraries folder, I renamed it libraries with a Y. I'm going to rename this hardware W E A R. So it's kind of hardware spelt wrong and see if it'll create me a new hardware folder and see whether that'll fix the problem. So let's go back. Oh yeah, I was in preferences uh, because apparently this might also be an issue where C users Julian app data local Arduino 15 preferences. There may be something in that text file which needs altering. But anyway, I'll come back to that. I think probably the best thing to do is to rerun this from scratch. So I'll do that. Okay, back in Arduino 1810 and Blink has come up again, which is quite good. So let's do a no sketch, isn't it? Verify compile. See whether this works. Oh, I think the first compile. Oh no, that's quite fast. No, no better off. We still got this for no fat Lato objects thing. I am befuddled. So here's another one I'm being told to do something with. It's this preferences.txt in users Julian app data local Arduino 15, whatever that means. So let's change this to preferences.txt so that it won't like that. Once again, I'm going to have to, um, I think, quit and restart Arduino back soon. Uh, no, that didn't work either. I've still got this for no fat Lato objects thing supported only with the linker plugin. I have absolutely no understanding of what that means at all. So a lot of Google searching now required, a lot of fiddling about, and I'll be back when it's all sorted. Yes, right, that seems to have done it. I deleted my libraries folder, or renamed it. De uh, renamed my, oh, what was that other one I renamed? <laughs> well, the other one I renamed. Uh, and I got rid of everything in the Arduino 15 folder, whatever that is. And now Blink has compiled. I haven't uploaded it yet because I've not plugged in my Nano, but at least now I've got a working IDE. They, as I say, change stuff and then old stuff doesn't work and you've got to relearn it. So I just got some uh, 470 ohm resistors. So I'm going to put a 470 ohm resistor I think if I bend it like that, it should be all right. I just want to get that LED uh, with a resistor from D13, which is over here, to ground, which is over here somewhere. So let's oop, let's cut these legs, stick it in my board, and then power this thing up. And I could compile and upload, but actually I only need to upload. Right, where's ground? It's there, and I want to go to there. Right, that should do it. I think that LED is the right way around. Let's find my USB cable. Okay, live plug-in. Of course, it's unlikely to do anything. I don't think that's Blink running. I think that's just this thing going through some boot-up phase. Or maybe it is Blink running. Yeah, it probably is. Although that doesn't look symmetrical. No, I haven't uploaded anything, have I? So there must have been something in here in this Nano. I don't know where this Nano came from, which blinks D13. But anyway, let's upload the sketch. So here's the next thing. Problem uploading to board. AVR dude STK500. I used to know what all this stuff meant. Programmer is not responding. Uh, sat there for a couple of minutes and then just failed to upload. I'm pretty sure I've done all the board Arduino Nano. Processor AT Mega 328P. Port COM3. Perhaps I'll just I cancel, uh, quit this program and rerun it. Let's try that. I think I know what this might be. Under tools and processor, we've got 80 mega 328p, but we've also got this one with the old bootloader. I've got a funny feeling that all the uh, 80 mega 328ps are now getting the Uno bootloader. So let's do old bootloader, which this probably has, and do a compile and upload. Actually, I'll run the camera now. And we can see I've actually got this working 
but the what I'm looking for is the TX and RX LEDs. It's still compiling at the moment, but when those TX and RX LEDs start flickering, which won't be uh, uploading. Oh yeah, they're flickering. They're flickering. And finally, we've got the Blink Sketch on my Nano, which must have an old bootloader. We're there. Finally, I'm talking to the hardware. Well, that was a slog. So the next thing is uh, talking to that OLED. Now, I want to use the U8G2. I found under tools there's manage libraries. Sorry if this is all a bit small and unreadable. Oh, it's slow. Oh, that's probably because my uh, OBS, Open Broadcast Studio, is running as well as Arduino and stressing my PC. Let's go to UHG2 is what I'm particularly interested in. Now I did do an update on this, so it's got version 2.26.14 installed. So we should be ready to go. And this is the monochrome LCD OLED and e-ink library. That would be fun to play with. But for the moment it's OLED. Now I've got to try and remember which uh, chip this OLED has in it. I'm sure there's a way of finding out. So the next thing is to get that OLED working. Now, uh, I think Sketch will oh, include library managed. Oh no, here we are. Here are the libraries. So these are presumably the built-in ones. And here's the contributed, a contributed library, U8G2. What does that do? Oh, that just puts an include U8G2 in my blank <laughs> sketch. But where do I get the U8G2 examples? I don't know. So I've got it to put in the U8G2 uh, includes and the 8x8, which I don't know whether I need. I can't scroll this. Uh, sorry, it's a bit small. And I've put in a U8G2 begin and a few U8G2 sort of setup stuff. Now, the only thing is, there's supposed to be something that tells it which display to use, isn't there? Here's the file I'm borrowing it from. Oh, yes, it's this one. Uh, U8G2 SSD1306. I'm going to need that, aren't I? Let's copy that. And where does that go? Uh, that goes before setup. So I'll shove it after all these comments. Paste it in there. Let's just put a line after it. Let's see if that works. Upload. Don't hold out a lot of hope. Blimey, this is taking a long time. Why is it taking an absolute age to compile this? I'm kind of expecting an error now. Well, that took an absolute age to compile, but I seem to remember this UHG stuff is actually quite big, uses up quite a lot of the memory. But that has successfully compiled and uploaded with no errors. Let's take a look at the uh, the OLED. I've done something wrong actually. I've put in the SSD 1306 128 by 32 OLED, and that's not what I've actually got plugged into my breadboard. I've got a 128 by 64. However, we have a very elongated W on there. Let's uh, come down a bit so you can see it. So it's the right chip. It's the sort of organization of pixels is wrong because that should be half the height. But yes, put a W on the display. So, and with the light uh, rapidly disappearing, although it might actually help the shot, I've got, uh, I've turned off the blink thing. I didn't need that anymore. And I've just done an animated Hello Julian on the display. And I'll just go to uh, Arduino and OBS so that you can see the code for this. And so this is it. I ended up using UHG2 SSD 1306 128x64 no name full frame buffer you can use 1 2 or F hardware I squared C because I'm on uh, A4 and A5 which is SCL uh, no let's get this right way around SDA is A4 and SCL is A5 UHG2 with a rotation of none those are the only parameters you need so clear the buffer probably don't need to do that set the font now it's a 32 character height font which is why the two words crash into each other clear the buffer uh, send a buffer with nothing in it half a second delay 
do the hello at uh, coordinate 0, 032 and another delay and then do Julian at coordinates 0, 064. I think that's X and Y, which starts at the bottom of the display. So that's it. So I'm back in the Arduino game. Cheerio.